What's going on, gang? It's your boy, the Bearded Comic Bro, and today I'm going to share with you five comic books that if you are a Batman fan, you want to get. These are minor keys, but these are often overlooked books that I think you would love to have in your collection. They could potentially blow up. They might not. They probably aren't. I don't care about it from that standpoint. I just care about it if you are a Batman fan like myself, because you're going to see these are books from my collection. So you're going to see their non-good grade, and I probably need to upgrade some of these bad boys. But I just want to have those characters' first appearances. So with that being said, these are the five minor keys that I recommend you get ASAP. Up first, we have Batman 475. This has a beautiful cover of Scarface and the Ventriloquist on it. But this is not why this book is so great to me. It is because this is a first appearance of Renee Montoya, who is fantastic. She is a great character. She was in Batman the Animated Series. And this isn't a book that you're going to want to really spec on because she's already been in movies. She was in the Birds of Prey movie. She was in, she's going to be in a TV show in the upcoming Batwoman series on the CW season three. So Renee Montoya, though, is just a really cool character. I think she adds a lot of strength and power in the police force in Gotham that they need to have. And really cool character. She's also the second question. So if that, if the question is a character that you dig, this is definitely a book for you and prices on sold prices on ebay of this are going from five to 15 bucks raw i mean easily you can snag this but if for some reason with the gotham show coming up on hbo that character starts to blow up a little bit or a question or something get this for you for your collection that's right, gang. I'm sticking with the GCPD theme, and I'm bringing you Detective Comics 441. This is the first appearance of Lieutenant Harvey Bullock. Again, another character that I think is fantastic. How he his interactions with Commissioner James Gordon. I, one of my favorite characters on Batman the Animated Series. Uh, always just mistrusting Batman and things like this. This is going to be the more expensive book that is up there on this list. Just because we really haven't seen Harvey Bullock in movies yet. We saw him on the TV show in Gotham. And all of these characters pop up in that show. Uh, so, again, TV show is not going to spec it for you. But, you know, he hasn't been in a movie. So maybe that's going to make it blow up eventually. You want to get these keys to own them for your collection of just like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that character. That'd be cool to have. Harvey Bullock is a cool character. Batman fans know him. And I feel a lot of us go, oh, yeah, that'd be a cool book to get. Well, get it. Batman 441. You can tell by my copy. It is beat up. It's not a good copy. I can't flip this at all anyways. But I'm not going to because I want it in my collection. So sale prices for this book range from about $15 to $50 of sold prices on eBay. So it really depends on the condition. If you want to get a low-grade condition like mine, it's going to be on the very low end. You can probably find it $15. If you want that better quality, mid-grade, higher grade, this is going to be one of the higher books for you to get. So something to keep in mind uh, with all Batman news always coming out. So if this is something that you want to check out, pick up Detective Comics 441, get yourself with Lieutenant Harvey Bullock, throw your toothpick, and enjoy this read. Up next, we've got Detective Comics 457. So we're stepping away from the police force a little bit, but we're staying with the heroes in Gotham. And we're talking about the first appearance of Dr. Leslie Tompkins. And she is a confidant of Bruce Wayne. She knows Bruce Wayne is Batman, is kind of the psychologist doctor for Bruce Wayne and the Dr. Ford, she was close with Bruce's father. This is just a, she is a great character because she brings this humanity to Batman that we don't get as much. And so you need character. Tompkins is a great character for that. Again, this is a sweet cover though. Check this out. This is one of my favorite covers of all the books I'm showing you today, but it is beat up. So I've got to find myself a better copy of it just so it presents better. But this is one that I think Batman fans you should get. She, again, appeared in Gotham in the TV show, and I thought she was a really good portrayal of that character. But this is something I think you should have as a Batman fan in your collection. On eBay, raw copies sell for anywhere from $13 to $30. Again, this is an affordable key for you as a Batman fan at home. Um, get it. Gang, we're going to switch now to villains. And... This is something that you've seen this book before. If you watch my villain profiles, I talked about Victor Zaz. This is Batman Shadow of the Bat, issue number one. This is the first appearance of Victor Zaz. Again, Victor Zaz has appeared in movies. He's appeared. He was in Birds of Prey. He was in the Gotham TV show. 
But as I said in my villain profile, I think he is primed to make it to the big screen, especially with the new series coming up, the Batman with Robert Pattinson's Batman. I think it's going to be more in the realm of grounded in reality like the Christopher Nolan movies were. And I think Victor Zaz being a serial killer is a killer that could be prime to make his appearance probably maybe cameo in the first and come up in the second one i think he'd be a great villain to really showcase the detective side of batman here uh, again this is a very easy affordable book sold prices for it raw on ebay are five to nine bucks gang it's so much printed so don't spend more than under 10 bucks for this book if you're getting it raw i see 9.8s a couple 9.8s have sold on ebay lately right around the hundred dollars a really cool cover it looks nice and i think victor zaz is a character that could pop up now in more of these batman movies and it's something that you should get and gang talking about the batman movie i've got a couple first appearances in this issue that are going to make appearances in the movie the batman coming up here in just a little bit if you guys watched my haul video that i dropped on monday from the lexington comic con this is a book that i picked up this is batman 405 and it's funny because batman 404 the first in the four issue arc by frank miller is one that i think people get a lot it's a kind of the bruce wayne origin story but the main first appearance in this is carmine falcone who has been in batman begins who is a big key character in the Batman underworld and he's coming back in the Batman movie and I am so excited for that character I'm so excited to see it in the gangster side of Gotham I love that aspect I love those storytelling and then we get some of the villains creeping into this but this is a first appearance of Carmine Falcone gang you gotta have that in your collection there's also a character a police officer in their name Stanley Markle who is a first appearance and he is also cast in the movie as well check it out gang get this book sale prices for this on ebay raw are going for 20 to 30 bucks this is a you know and you can get it in a pretty high grade at that you're not going to get too many low grade copies of this like you were with some of the detective books because they're lower you know older books this is an you know more recent in the Batman world, so you're gonna have higher grades that are gonna sell for anywhere between 20 and 30. But this is a book, I, everyone always goes for that year one, uh, 404 first. Get yourself a 405 because they've already announced them in the movie. If you don't have Carmine Falcone in your collection as a Batman fan, come on! Well, that's it, gang. Five books I recommend you pick up if you are a Batman fan. Again, these aren't gonna break your bank, these aren't you know, for Silver Age Riddler books or whatever, but they're often slept on because they're not the big villains. They're not the, the marquee names. And so I think you these are ones that you can get easily and you should definitely check it out if you're a Batman fan. So gang, if you like this idea of me hopping on here, dropping some minor key Batman books that you can add to your collection, let me know in the comments below and we'll see if this is something that we do a couple more videos of. But with that being said, hopefully you can find some